Hi everybody, welcome back, another video, and on this one we're looking at Opeth Reverie, Hargreen Forest. Um, I'm going to be looking at Opeth a bit this week, uh, these next few days anyway, I'm not sure about this week. I don't know where, when this video is going out, it's the very first one of them. Um, but uh, I'm going to concentrate a bit on the suggestions of requ uh, and requests of bands I've had a lot of requests and suggestions for. Um, because I, I ignored them. Because I, I just like flitting about. Um, but uh, I'm going to concentrate a little bit on uh, a few of these bands. And Opeth, first one. Um, this is Reverie, Harlequin Forest. Um, it's just... Um, a clip so it's just audio really um, 11 minutes plus let's give it a go here we go into the straight into it I didn't expect Reverie to be like a sort of instrumental opening for Harley Forest, but obviously not. acoustic moment.
the Hollywood Forest Park, Reverie Park, possibly my favourite tune from them so far. was my least favourite part of this uh, song, but not because of the growling, it, was, it just, the way the uh, music condenses etc is a little bit 
Don't risk, but. Like the ghostly sound for this, um, the uh, stunning rhythm, not been doing for me very much. Probably going to build to something amazing though. Okay, that was a song of two hearts for me. <laughs> it was Reverie, Hardwood Forest. Reverie, possibly my favourite song by them that I've heard so far. Of stuff I haven't heard before. It's like, I really liked that. It was tight, it was well done. Um, there was nothing bad to say about Reverie at all. It really did flow really well. Um, kicks off straight out the gates. Those sort of songs are really like, it takes a little moment to get into them because there's no sort of build up. But, um, I was able to get into it reasonably quickly and really, really loved it. Really loved the melodies to it. Really loved the uh, the heaviness to it. Uh, didn't mind the growly vocal. There was hardly any growly vocal in there, to be fair, anyway. Um, but all around, reverie, stunning. Uh, then, I think it blended into Harlequin Forest. I think a lot of the acoustic stuff was the Harlequin Forest bit. It was gentle, it was nice, it built, it built. Um, it got to the more heavy parts. It was still awesome. And then, towards the end, with it, it brought out those type riffs and those just carried on and on uh, we had some growly vocals over it which you know I don't really like his growly vocals very much anyway um, and it was like a double whammy in that sense the growly vocals in the reverie part even even though there were very few um, they didn't affect me at all because that tune flowed really well for me Harlequin Forest half of Harlequin Forest is brilliant um the last piece the last last half maybe last third whatever um uh, if it weren't that all the way through i would have had a long 11 minutes but believe me when i was listening to that part going i thought oh, i've probably got about three or four minutes left of this song overall that must be at least something like that uh, because they're going to build up to something in a minute because this is you know it's like a sort of you hear tunes out there that are like the start of like you're going like I don't really like this I don't really like this the, the, wherever the riff the rhythm whatever pattern has not affected you in the right way and you're just going like no no and then suddenly they flick a switch they flow up or they go something happens and it explodes you go like oh my god this song is amazing it means you have to listen to that bit to get to that bit because it makes that bit even better um, but not on this it sort of ended badly for me um, overall Reverie whoa Harlequin Forest 50-50, very much. Really liked the start, didn't like the end. Uh, probably have to listen to it a few more times maybe to uh, to appreciate it a bit more, uh, 
to really get a grip on there but like I say it was a little bit dull at the end I'm always always honest which always annoys people apologies if you love Harlequin Forest more than Reverie I like Reverie um, and that's it that's it that's what I'm gonna say um, apologies again that um, the end of Harlequin Forest did not match up to what I was enjoying at the start of it um, it's just one of those weird things uh, what do you think? Do you think it was important to have that that style at the end of the song? Did you feel that it made it much more dramatic for you? And you don't know what I'm talking about? Or um, do you feel it went on a little too long, that part, and they could have uh, mixed up a bit? I mean, yeah, I like the flow through of the guitar and the uh, keys, etc. through that. But um, other than that, it was a little bit... Hmm, sorry. Hope you still enjoyed this video. Um, see you on the next one soon. Bye.